everyone welcome to math with me in this session we are going to focus on swartzen indices find the value of p when 3 to the power p equal to 1 over 81 to the power 3 to find the value of p let us write the common base as 3 81 as 3 to the power 4 equals 1 over 3 to the power 4 the whole power 3 power of power so let's multiply the both the power we have 3 to the power p equal to 1 over 3 to the power 12 let us convert the denominator value to the numerator we have 3 to the power p equal to 3 to the power negative 12 we have the common base so let us equate the indices we have p equal to negative 12 evaluate the value 4 to the power 6 times 16 divided by 4 to the power 4 let us write the common base as 4 we have 4 to the power 6 16 as 4 square divided by 4 to the power 4 whenever we multiply the common base add the powers whenever we divide the common base subtract the powers 4 to the power 6 plus 2 minus 4 simplify this we have 4 to the power 4 4 to the power 4 as 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 4 times 4 is 16 and 16 we have 16 times 16 as 256 we have a solution as 256 find the value of x when 64 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 3 divided by 16 to the power 1.5 equal to 2 to the power x to find the value of x have the common base as 2 64 as 8 times 8 8 as 2 cube and 2 cube equal to 2 to the power 6 64 as 2 to the power 6 the whole power 3 times 2 to the power 3 divided by 16 as 2 to the power 4 the whole power 1.5 equal to 2 to the power x power of power we need to multiply the indices we have 2 to the power 18 times 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 6 equal to 2 to the power x multiplying the common base add the powers Dividing the common base, subtract the powers, we have 2 to the power 18 plus 3 minus 6 equal to 2 to the power x. While simplifying this value, 2 to the power 15 equal to 2 to the power x. We have the common base, equate the powers, we have x equal to 15 as the solution. Next, find the value of x when 4 to the power 10 times 64 divided by 256 equal to 4 power x times 16. To find the value of x, write down the common base as 4. We have 4 to the power 10, 64 as 4 cube divided by 256 as 16 times 16 16 as 4 square and 4 square we have 4 to the power 4 so divided by 4 to the power 4 equal to 4 to the power x times 16 as 4 square multiplying the common base add the powers dividing the common base subtract the powers we have 4 to the power 10 plus 3 
minus 4 equals 4 to the power x plus 2. We have the common base. Equate the powers. We have 2 plus x equal to 9. Taking the 2 on that side, x equal to 9 minus 2, x is equal to 7 as the solution. Evaluate 27 over 125 the whole power negative 2 over 3. We have the negative power. So let's convert the negative power to the positive by interchanging the numerator to the denominator. 125 divided by 27 to the power 2 over 3. Let's split the powers to the numerator and the denominator we have 125 to the power 2 over 3 divided by 27 to the power 2 over 3 125 as 5 cube the whole power 2 over 3 27 as 3 cube the whole power 2 over 3 power of power multiply the powers so we have 5 to the power 3 times 2 over 3 divided by 3 power 3 times 2 over 3. Cancel the value 3 over 3. In the numerator and the denominator, we have 5 square divided by 3 square. 5 square as 25 over 3 square as 9. Evaluate the value of 729 to the power 0 0.2 times 81 to the power 0 0.4 times 9 to the power negative 0 0.9 which have the common base as 9. 729 as 9 cube the whole power 0 0.2 times 81 as 9 square, the whole power 0 0.4 times 9 to the power negative 0 0.9. Power of power, we need to multiply the powers. We have 9 to the power 0 0.6 times 9 to the power 0 0.8 times 9 to the power negative 0 0.9. While multiplying the common base, add the powers, we have 9 to the power 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8 plus negative 0 0.9. 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8 plus into minus is minus 0 0.9. While simplifying this, we have 0 0.5. So 9 to the power 0 0.5. Write the decimal as the fraction. So 0 0.5 as 1 over 2, 9 to the power 1 over 2 as root of 9 equal to 3. Or we can split 9 as 3 square the whole power 0 0.5. Multiplying 2 and 0 0.5 we have 1, 3 to the power 1. We have 3 as the solution. If you have any doubts or questions, leave on the comment section below. In our forthcoming video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon. This motivates me to step ahead. Thanks for your kind and great support.